In this morning's On the Job series, our own Jeff Porter goes back to school with Harper Creek High School senior Katie Nicolau. Jeff joins Katie. She spends her afternoon studying in the Battle Creek Area Math and Science Center. Yeah, I actually I got accepted to both Valpo. I pretty much just got books and read up on it and just grew to love weather. There was a funnel cloud that went right over the bridge. And I just, when I was in the car underneath the bridge, saw the wind, saw the lightning, I was just, I was like, what? How you doing, guys? They're doing a segment at News Channel 3 where they come and do a person's job for the day. And I said, you should try being a high school senior. And they liked it. Hi, I'm Maureen Doubleday. Jeff Porter, pleasure to meet you. Do you need me to sign anything? or I took AP Calc in uh, 1996. Show me the antiderivative. I'm also going to put the change in temperature data in here as well. Hi, I'm Serena Gay. Great to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. You're going to be doing some calculus today, huh? Uh, yeah. Group presentations today. Full color calculator. You can hook it up to different devices for chemistry and biology. But I'm going to give you guys up. What was your name again? Mari. Mari, Jeff. Nice to Great you. to meet you too. Can you use your calculators when you're taking tests and stuff? Mm -hmm. Sometimes. I'll do the graph. I'll do this part. This part. Whatever's good for you. I, I think I could probably do either or. I think minus x to the fourth over four plus three x minus. So how am I getting the whole of the x c? You guys are so smart. Just like this, right? Using the fundamental theorem of calculus, uh, we've got minus x to the fourth over four plus 3x minus x squared over 2. Nice projection there, Mr. Porter. Oh, thanks. Thanks for your help. Appreciate it. <laughs> Otherwise, we do have announcements today, so please... Do we use these in your next class? Unless we're calculating something, I don't think we uh, Okay. <laughs> Can I see the show of hands, those of you that have the four data points? Isn't that parts per million milligrams per we'll liter? Milligrams per liter is parts per million, yep. Yeah. We're going to go and do one additional water quality test today. So you're going to have to find your milligrams per liter that we had. A chunky precipitate that forms in the tube. It's the same exact that you did for dissolved oxygen. You, you rinse your container three times. Just grab one of these. I should have been paying attention. <laughs> We can still use it because that was a vacuum, so it shouldn't affect Should be ourselves. okay. Yeah. Hey. That was better, right? That works. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Maybe a little. I don't know. I don't. I don't see a ton. Mm. Did I do it wrong? Oh, I got to put it in the other way. <laughs> I didn't want to put it in the pointy end because when I try and get it out, it'll. We need to start this all lab all over again. Exactly. <laughs> that happens many times. Thanks so much for having us. You're that welcome. Was awesome. You're welcome. I hope we weren't a, a distraction or anything. How about that? Now, this makes perfect sense for Jeff to be there because Katie plans to attend Valparaiso University this coming fall and enroll in their meteorology program. She wants to help people stay safe during severe weather.